Welcome to Heat Check. This is the top 10 highest selling vintage denim items on eBay over the last two weeks. Let's dig in to the list. All right, kicking us off at number 10. No list is complete without a Type 2 on it, it seems like. Um, we have this 1950s Type 2 salvage denim trucker jacket. Uh, this one looks great. This one looks pretty close to some of the good, better ones we've seen on this list in the past. Let's take a look. Uh, it looks like it's pretty pretty clean all around. We're getting a lot of the same pictures. All right, let me see some more pictures. Look at the pleats. Actually, looks like the pleats are well intact, which is pretty cool to see. Those are always that's always uh, helpful. Uh, the back looks like looks like there's no significant defects like whatsoever on this jacket. It keeps showing us the same picture, um, but uh, of course the tab or the patch in the back is missing. It's a little bit of wear on the collar, but all in all, this looks like a beautiful Type 2 denim jacket. Uh, very impressive uh, for a Type 2. Uh, went for $1,500, which kind of seems a little bit low relative to some other ones we've seen. Uh, and for such a good condition jacket. Uh, let's see what size it is. It might be the size. Yeah, it's pretty small. It's like a 36, 37. Um, so, uh, unfortunately, that's, you know, a, a bit smaller and, and definitely a harder, uh, harder sell. But still, dope jacket. Then at number nine, we have this apparently 1940s Redline Selvage hidden. Uh, let's take a look. Let's see. We have some, apparently some 40s. You can see those, uh, you can see those. This is coming out of Missouri. Uh, unfortunately, it's not me. Uh, pretty close, though. Um, you have the hidden rivets inside. I don't know why I can't zoom up. Hidden rivets inside the selvage there. Uh, with the, the buttons, there's some beautiful buttons right there. Or some uh, rivets, excuse me, with the V-stitch. Uh, looks like, yeah, this looks like it's probably pretty old. We have the um, selvage watch pocket. There is some damage here in the, the crotch area. Uh, but I wish this picture was a little light, lighter so we get a better uh, idea of the color. Uh, but still, beautiful pair of jeans. Um, I'm not sure. I, it's possible that they're... They're, it's hard to say whether or not they're actually 1940s. Um, if you can tell in the comments, let me know. Uh, but beautiful pair of jeans. Uh, this one sold for $1,600. Next up, we have a 1950s Big E. Uh, let's take a look here. We've got uh, some damage around the pockets and somewhere along the zipper, it appears. Um, and this is interesting that this one went for as much as it did relative to the other, to the one we just previously saw, um, which we'll see. Uh, makes me wonder whether or not that is actually a pair of uh, 40s jeans in the first place. Uh, but it uh, looks very similar to this one here. Uh, let's see if we have any other details. They show us the watch pocket stuff. We've got single stitch. We know that. The patch is obviously missing on this one, but that's a bummer. But... Uh, biggie, which we'd expect, uh, but still beautiful pair of jeans. This one sold for sixteen fifty, slightly better than the previous uh, pair. Uh, this is a pretty good size. Thirty five is a good size for sure. So, um, nice, beautiful pair of jeans. Next up, we have our second Type Two denim jacket on this list. Uh, again, beautiful color. Uh, looks like there's no major defects outside of some wear that would be more considered aesthetic. It's beautiful, uh, for sure. No major defects. I'm not seeing anything. I think their pleats are mostly intact. Maybe one's a little bit loose there in the middle there. Uh, but let's take a look at the size because this could make a big difference. And yes, it's about a 40, which does make a difference. And the difference here between the last one was only about $300. Uh, this one sold for... Uh, just a bit more than that one at 1853. Right, then we have our first non Levi's entry here with this quote unquote super rare 1930s combination watch pocket tan Carhartt shore coat. Um, I again, this looks like it could be 1930s. I'm not uh, smart enough to know whether or not I can precisely predict it, but everything so far looks like it is. Um, this is interesting. It looks like it, I mean, this went pretty high. Um, Higher than I would probably have expected. We have the Carhartt uh, label there. These do not have those cool heart buttons that we've seen on previous uh, entries of Carhartt on here. Uh, but it's still a very cool jacket. So there's the button. Great button for sure. Uh, if you are a Carhartt junkie and you know why this thing commanded such a big price, let me know in the comments below. Uh, as far as I can tell, I mean, it's it's a good jacket, obviously. Uh, there is some damage here. I think that's on the, on the sleeve, it looks like. 
uh, which is a bummer, but um, still super cool jacket. This one went for $2,200 according to my research. So uh, it appears to have been paid for, but uh, quite a bit higher than I would have expected. All right, then for our third type two denim jacket, we have this guy right here. Uh, beautiful jacket. You can see some of the differences here. We have the jerky tag, uh, which uh, this you know puts it on the earlier side of the 1950s. So this one's a bit rarer than the previous ones we saw, at least according to the patch. You can see how the le the the leather shrinks and pulls the rest of the garment with it. Um, Beautiful jacket. Says it's size large. I'm curious what they determined to be size large. Otherwise, this thing looks like it's in great condition. Look how look how much that pulls. That's incredible. You don't normally see that. Normally, at this point, these are just cut out. So this is a pretty cool piece, uh, for certain. Let's take a look and see at the measurements. Uh, sh the chest is a 44, so that's a great size. Starting to get into the much harder to find sizes, or or much more in demand sizes rather. Um, uh, this is a beautiful one right here. Uh, this one sold for what they asked for, for $2,500. Uh, incredible find. All right, and moving right along, we have this beautiful dead stock Levi's 501. Um, wow, uh, it's got the V-stitch. We're looking at the 60s here, I believe. Um, here we have the, five, uh, the double 501, the 501 501, uh, which is a, a rarer piece to come by. Uh, it has the hanger tag. Wow, wow, wow. Um, incredible as a J stamp this is a specimen uh, in a dead stock condition it's a 3430 which is a beautiful size uh, this one had 16 bids let's take a look uh, this is a class of the original with uh, tags we were selling it to finance their honeymoon um, well uh, I'm glad they did they could have helped themselves probably and had a, a bit of a better uh, listing title here because it doesn't even include the word vintage or uh, v-stitch or salvage or anything like that so they might have done better because this was a pretty low uh, actually incredibly low uh, price according to my sources and according to what we've seen in the past three thousand dollars obviously is a lot of money uh, but dead stock 501s from this era I mean you could be talking quite a bit more 16 bids went for three thousand fifty dollars and eighty seven cents uh, Wow 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 then we have another 501 Levi's just crushing it right now. Uh, this one says 1960s, but I, this would not have been 1960s with this jer jerky tag. As far as I'm aware, there's no uh, case of that. This would have been changed over in the 50s. Uh, but really cool. You do not normally see it with the jerky tag, which I think pro uh, the jerky, or excuse me, the leather become you know has become jerky. Uh, but uh, you don't normally see them. This, this stuff gets lost. Uh, we have the V stage. You have the hidden rivets. Um, so beautiful pair of jeans in a great size 3430 and again a really really good size there is the patch uh, again you do not see this very often these typically get uh, pulled off or something like that but wow incredible pair uh, it probably is a little bit annoying to wear because of how it pulls on the garment but uh, still this one went for $3,600 with 28 bids Coming in number two, we have apparently a stifle uh, from the early 1900s. Uh, this would have uh, probably been a salesman sam sample, as according to uh, my sources. Uh, this is obviously a little bit more, a little bit deeper in denim time than I normally deal with. Uh, it says a Buffalo brand on the buttons. I'm not sure if that's just the brand of the button. It's quite possible at this point, uh, but still beautiful, incredibly good condition. Uh, uh, just impressive all the way around. Stifle is having its uh, moment, as we've said in the past. Uh, we've seen some Stifles go for quite a bit of money. Obviously, very, very old and rare. Uh, but this one is a beautiful collector's piece. Nobody probably going to be wearing this one, obviously. Uh, this is for probably purely for the collectors. Uh, this one went for $4,827 with 28 bids. Uh, definitely an incredible piece for sure. Coming in at number one, we have probably the oldest denim piece we have seen on this list. Um, I've seen some indication that this is uh, 1800s, maybe even as early as like 1860 or 50 or something. Uh, but I think most people are confident, at least in the late 1800s. Uh, it's like a smock uh, sort of workwear. Or, I'm assuming not a smock, a frock is what they say here. Uh, but incredible piece. What a 
incredible beauty. I believe the uh, purchaser may have actually posted this on Instagram. Uh, so I'll link to the Instagram below so you can take a look at it. This is so beautiful. This is this is the stuff of denim dreams for sure out uh, pretty good condition obviously some stains and stuff but wow um you know to find this in the first place is just something else entirely and just a, an amazing piece right here um you don't find it very often um you don't see this come up on ebay that often look at those striped uh, that lining on the stri the sleeves that's wow uh, beautiful here we go there's a you know some early denim somebody's description here it looks like it may have uh, come from or maybe there's another one that came from uh, they found uh, in addition to this one this one's probably just in the same same line not entirely sure but still a beautiful rare old piece this one did to sell for five thousand dollars so that was the top 10 heat check this week on this slightly abridged version thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you guys in the next one peace